In the diagram of triangle ABC below, points D and E are on sides AB and CB respectively, such that DE is parallel to AC. So DE is parallel to AC, which means the corresponding angles are going to be congruent. And why is that important? Well then, the two triangles, triangle DEB and triangle ACB are going to be parallel to one another. Then it says EB is 3 more than DB. So I don't know what the length of DB is. I want to call DB X. And EB is just going to be 3 more than that. So it's going to be 3 plus X. AB is 14. So this entire length is 14. CB is 21. So this entire length is 21. What is the length of AD? I'm going to call length of AD Y. All right. So because triangle DEB is similar to triangle ACB, I can then set up a proportion. I can then say um, the, the uh, shorter leg, so X over the, um, the shorter leg of the larger triangle, is equal to the other longer leg of the small triangle over the longer leg of the big triangle. And then from there I'm going to cross multiply. So I have 21x is equal to 14 times 3 plus x. Let's distribute the 14. So I get 42 plus 14x Let's subtract both sides by 14x, so I get 7x is equal to 42. Let's divide both sides by 7, x will therefore equal to 6. Since x, is, since x is equal to 6, and the overall length of AB is 14, y therefore must equal to 8. So AD must equal to 8, and that would be option 2.